Thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Prayers. May people of faith around the world understand and love each other. May nations of faith around the world work together to build a peaceful and prosperous world. Today's word of wisdom is Islam essentially preaches peace and tolerance. Uh, Ms. Mahsa Amini of Iran was arrested last month on 13th September for not wearing headscarf, hijab, and passed away three days later on 16th September. First of all, I would like to express my sincere condolence to Miss Mafsa Amini. May she has returned to heaven without cursing the police or anyone else involved. And the day after the, the day before yesterday, October 16th, one month has passed since the incident. In Iran, the protest demo demonstrations that started as a, as a result of this incident are still going on. And they have spread to many Parts of, parts of the world. Meanwhile, in India, the matter arises that forbids students from wearing the hijab in classroom in a university. This matter, on the contrary, is a protest by Muslim students who are demanding that they be allowed to wear the hijab to school classes. It is not an easy, easy issue to judge and one that affects to the world. In this regard, Master Okawa makes the reference in this curtain. Into the storm of international politics. Five, the future of Islamic states and the mission of happy science. The challenges for Islam and the need for their reform in the modern era. Here it is. We are now starting to see many Muslims working around in head scarves, hijab, in Japan as well. Considering the existence of large mosques in places like Shibuya too, it would seem that there are 
tens of thousands of their, them here. So it's true to say that it would be dangerous if they cause too many conflicts. Since there is so little interaction at the state level, people can't come from the Middle East to hear my, even if I give a lecture. But when I spoke in Australia, there were some people who had come from Iran specifically to listen to my lecture. They should be a little more cooperative. Muhammad called himself the last prophet, which presents the problem that no one is regarded as one after him. This should be changed in the ideological sense. When Muslim women swim in a pool, they generally cover themselves from top to bottom, head to ankle, in black swimwear. As they splash through the water, it looks as though you are swimming in the same pool with a female ninja, which is not a particularly pleasant feeling. They are in bathing costumes that makes it rather hard for them to swim. It sometimes makes me feel like telling them they should be a little more considerate of the people around them. Such things are not acceptable in all places. The religious and the political issues involved can be very difficult. Recently, it becomes, became a rather big issue when the Chinese government put pressure on the Uyghurs not to fast during Ramadan. This is a very complex matter, and there are some aspects where it is hard to say which is right. There is an opinion that it is bad for the health of students and school children when they don't eat meals during the month of Ramadan. Though this is a materialistic idea. But it's also true to say that there are certain cultural aspects involved, so not everything about it can be considered strange. We are now in an era where various circumstances to do with food have changed, such as the fact that in those days there, there were no refrigerators, but there are refrigerators now. So there probably are some things that could do with a little revision. The reformation of Islam is included in the mission of happy science to some degree. But they all have an image of being strong and scary. However, Islam essentially preaches peace and tolerance. So in some ways, it is people's cultural heredity that, it's, that is making Islam scary. They act in the belief that they must not change God's teachings in the slightest. But there are many elements which they have created themselves. 
I sincerely hope that after reading、uh, this curtain, you will understand direction of conclusion that this case should head. There is a link in the description section of the YouTube video which you can jump to from Facebook. It points out what needs to, needs to be reformed. This is. It points out what needs to be reformed, not only in Islam, but also in other world religions. And refers to the reformation of the earth. Please access the link. Receive this curtain, read it, and learn from its profound wisdom. Now, let us recite Happy s a n s prayers. ロー・デル・カンターレ、マスター・リュー・ホー・オーカー、Thank you very much for giving us your great light every day.We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters.With our gratitude, we will recite The true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Duho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy. And Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven through the prism of Buddha. There appear the seven colors of rainbow. Arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other. And there appears Buddha Land. Buddha Land is shining brightly because of gathering of Bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls, rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is the symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat. So, you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. 
This pal is the meaning of the two words. When you go down rapid stream, you need to pan in a stream. Then you can change your course. The two words mean the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the two words. And Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you now here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go steadily on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by, yet still your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night, the dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now, here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirits in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. The world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believing that the light has reality, believing that love has reality, believing that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Allah del Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love, Earth. Protect us from all evil and open a future for us. Our oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. My guardian and guiding spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the seed of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and define my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil. 
and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day.